Oh, I got a gem finally. Hey, my second one. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool, but this one's kind of useless, unfortunately. But well, all that matters is the yellow, anyways. But that's collection log stuff, I guess. Now, let's see. This thing's getting filled a little more here. Got the red one. Just gotta get the blue one, I guess. Oh, I got the last jewel. Whoa, let's go. It's not super useful, but collection log. Let's go. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see here. We got all the gems now. Yay. <laughs> okay, now, seriously though, it's time to start getting some of these. Some Missouris. So the blue gem is not useful at TOA for me because the thing is just straight up better than it. But I can use the blue gem Karis at Kelphite Queen because I technically still have to get the jar for the collection log in the future, so. Oh, purple. Yeah, boy, what is it? What is it? Oh, no way. I'm getting so trolled. That's my third, uh, my third mask. Not a mask. I've already had three. So something different, please. Oh, damn. Our eighth dupe in a row or seventh. Oh, we're losing it, boys. Alrighty. Good luck, us. Good luck. Oh, whoa. Oh shit, it's my purple. Ah, no way, dude. Another purple. Oh my god, two days in a row, guys. Holy. Damn, boys. You know, we splitting, we split. Yo, good luck us. Let's see what it is, man. Alright, come on, Missouri top or bottom or, you know, something I don't have, please. Please. Alright, I haven't used the Baduto for the day, so let's go. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I, actually, actually, I haven't even recorded it. Ah, ah, ah. Turn on the recorder. Let's see. Yes, we just turned it on. Oh, oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, take it. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. <laughs> no way, dude. I mean, I'm glad it's not the last item because we can actually use this. Holy shit, no way. That's actually nuts. Wow, we actually got one of the best items in the game early. Hey boys, we're gonna AFK a bit at Sayer Bloods. In the meantime, let's play a game called Mech Arena, an exciting 5v5 competitive shooter game that features interesting robots with varying degrees of specialties for you to master. Mech Arena focuses a lot on rewarding players that demonstrate great skills. Some of my favorite mechs is the starter mech called Paragon. It's the jack of all trades, so it can play well under any conditions while you're learning. There are also the Brick House Mecha. It has the overcharge ability that strengthens your allies' damage, so it's the perfect support for big team fights. There's also the Cheetah, which is great for scouting and doing hit and runs as a trace durability for speed. Mecha Arena is on PC too, and if you start now and play 7 different days till December 18th, you can get the strongest pilot in the game, Neymar Jr. He can boost your mech's overall damage and speed duration, like no other. In addition, if you use my link in the description or scan the QR code, you can get a free starter pack worth $15, an amateur crate, 300 A coins, and a Pulse Cannon 4. Join me there today. Thanks for listening. Almost everything that you see in the video is also live streamed, so if you want to catch a big event happening live, check it out. Twitch.tv slash voice okay? See you guys there. Alright, here we go. So 143 experts, 85 normal. So like 200, yeah, like 200 raids basically. This is nice. This is pretty nice though. 5 out of 7 now, guys. 5 out of 7. And our last two big drops, well, if you don't count the pet, is the Missouri top bomb. So incredibly, incredibly good items though. Damn, the ward, it's not going to be used here anymore. I think instead of the ward, we're going to swap over to the ancestral hat. That's pretty sick. We can bring full ancestral for like that multiplier. Oh boy. This is gonna be nuts, man. Holy. Alright, let's absolutely destroy everything with the good old staff here. Holy crap, this staff is so busted. <laughs> We're gonna imbue the Sears ring real quick. God damn. Like the Tebow can only hit like a 70 here, but this thing can hit like 70 plus, no problem. 
The only monster I've had trouble hitting with a shadow so far is a uh, Kamel, but that's because you need to hit him with a fire spell, so you just bring a blowpipe. But yeah, everything else you just mage. Like I literally do not have any problems hitting anything else. It's fair to say, from my experience using all kinds of weapons in Nightmare Zone, if you have the shadow, you can literally just camp the shadow the whole time, and it's probably the best way to get points. It's funny to me now that the Sears Ring pretty much got replaced with Brimstone a long time ago and it became pretty dead content, but the fact that this shadow multiplies stats, the Sears Ring is actually really stonks now. Look at this. I take off the ring, I lose like. F what is. What the hell? Look at that. I went from 447 to 483 with the Sears Ring. Like, this is three times multiplier with the staff on accuracy and magic damage. But at rate 3, it's 4 times, so I'll show you in a second what that's like. Alright, so watch this. You're, you're gonna just gonna laugh. Look at this, 644 magic accuracy. The magic percent's gonna stay, because um, I'm still gonna bring all of this. So it's 92% magic damage in rate 3. Basically, it's uh, 80 max hit, and yeah, ridiculous accuracy. Look at this. Oh my god, like, I, I can't even comprehend how accurate I am. It's so difficult because I'm used to, like, 100, right? For accuracy, 150. But this is, like, four times that. So nuts. So, first things first, I'm definitely going to use the Shadow. Mainly at race 3 because, yeah, we're already here. We're already grinding momentum's going. But, of course, I'm going to be doing a video where I showcase my progress using the Shadow at a bunch of different places, like God Wars, um, Chambers... I have a lot of testing slash collection log videos to make after this. So I thought the Shao was going to kick some Crocodile Balls, but but it wasn't that great. The Tebow was definitely a lot better. I think the reason is simple. I was not salted because it's the first room. So I don't get that crazy multiplier with a salt boost. So if you're not salted, definitely stick to range. But if you're salted and you have good mage gear, uh, probably Shadow will be better. Oh no. All right, here we go. Oh, I just rolled a zero. I wonder if I even need Argri, honestly. I probably would just hit anyways, right? Holy shit, I am so sorry for this melee guy. Wow, that was actually insane. I just two-shotted it, basically. Or three-shotted it, yeah. That was actually nuts. Okay, well, that's got to save a bit of time in this room. Just... Off of that alone, you know? Holy. This is gonna save me so much time here. Oh, look at that. I'm just hitting stupid numbers. And I don't seem to miss either. Use the outside TOA. Yeah, I did Nightmare Zone with it. It was disgusting. Holy crap. This is nuts. That took like 10 seconds to face. Dude, I don't even need to use like prayer for this. I don't even need augury on. It's just so accurate. Like, what is this? Nope. Okay. That was a little scary, but how fast was that? Holy shit! Five minutes. It usually takes me six minutes to do Akka. Alright. Wow, look at this. No need to BGS the pillar. That's probably one of my favorite parts about this. Because you don't have to stall these, right? So normally, in order to stall these so that they're completely separated, you have to take a bit more damage than that, but I only had to take like 3 hits. Holy shit, 1 Meteor, bro. Only 1 Meteor set for that. Dude, look how fast we downed that. That was 2 times, easily 2 times faster than using the Sang. The stick was made, but it was only 1. Oh, there it is, the 80. There it is, boys, the max it. So the Shadow is a massive upgrade at Warden. I'm definitely saving at least a minute for fights. And also, I don't have to use any BGS to make the kill times better because the Shadow doesn't need that. It's just going to be consistently fast every time. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Damn, that Warden time though. 743. That is over a minute faster, I think, than usual. 743. Holy usually takes us somewhere between eight to nine minutes so this is the time that i used to get when i was doing a 350 with the tebow so at a 380 i'm getting the same times with the good old shumikin shadow wow 
Oh, I got a bliss shard. Yes, let's go. <laughs> More blood shards. Need those. Alright, I'm gonna test out some stuff here. See how easy it is to do a 425. So previously, we definitely struggled quite a bit with this, right? But uh, with new gear, I should be also just better at this content. I think we should be able to do this. A level 425 raid death list is around a 1 in 10 chance to get a purple, which is really good considering, for example, level 300 is only a 1 in 22, right? So it's like twice as good. And I was comfortably doing uh, level 380 up to what the T-Bow. So I think with the Shadow, I should be able to comfortably do 400s. Oh, hell yeah, it's still two down, but damn, that was really close. Two down to 425, that's crazy. Oh, dude, that almost was perfect. Wow, we still did it with a minute and a half left. That's actually insane. Oh, wait, is the timer even on? Oh, wow, actually, never mind. The 425 doesn't even have the timer. It wouldn't even matter. But that's... Oh! <gasps> no way! Okay, what we get, though? Missouri? That would be insane if it's, like, Missouri top or bottom, man, honestly. Ah, okay. 425 Warden. I still had three rows left. It's so free. Yeah, it's really the, the bosses outside of Warden that's noticeably harder. But with a Shadow Man, holy, you know. Crazy. You don't need BGS? Oh, no, I do. The BGS is still really good. It's still good for a lot of the melee. What the hell? No way. Another purple, bro? No fucking way. 14. Like, this is like the 15th purple or something. Holy, here we go. Easy ring, yeah, it's probably gonna be another ring, honestly. Probably gonna be another ring. Alright, alright, Badoodle. Nani? This is insane! What is, what is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is going on, dude? I, oh my god. H hello? <laughs> Bro, th two shadows in, two, in three days. Huh? Oh, the shadow killed the monkey. Oh, that's so nice, man. We can just swap into the shadow like that. And kill a monkey that is like in Narnia, so I don't get baited. Hell yeah. That's worth... Yeah, look at that. You can just kill them with the magic, even though they're not weak to magic. So the first few ways, like, you can definitely just spam the shadow. What? Another purple! Two purples in one stream. What is it? Ah, uh, our, our uh, dupe ward. There it is. I can't do anything with it, though, unfortunately. I don't have an arcane dupe to uh, make that. Uh... Yeah, uh, actually, it's me. What the hell? I got a purple. Uh, dude, that's three purples in one day. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense, honestly. Oh, that's so boring. Woo! Wow, that was super fast. 38 minutes. Holy. That is actually so fast. Okay, yeah, thralls definitely save a lot of time. Holy. Only issue with thralls is that it's definitely not as chill. Definitely a bit faster, like a minute faster probably on average. But like, yeah, I think I'm gonna just stick to Barrage because yeah, it's just way more chill. Oh, bless shot. Let's go. Hell yeah. I am so surprised though that race 3 is actually way less supply use than something like Nex. The shadow doesn't do too bad on uh, Baba. I, at least salted. Nice. Oh my god, I did a one meteor. That's sick. One set of meteors for 425. Wow, what? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Eight blood essence. That's 8,000 blood, blood runes, basically. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that was uh, interesting. Never seen that before. That's a crazy amount. I think the most I saw was 4 and it jumped to 8 somehow. Alright, honestly these rings are going to keep dropping in price. So while there's still a decent price and a respectable price, we are going to offer... Yes, yeah, sacrifice through these. Use that 60 mil. Oh, it only hits a 31 at this scale. Oh, you shared it with the monkey. Oh shit, you can share it with the monkey? That's insane, I didn't even know that. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to uh, do the skip thing. Because I'm not gonna be able to DPS this, so... Oh, ho, ho. Fuck yeah. Good skip. 
Oh, that's so nice. You can actually use it on someone too. Yeah, you can use it on someone too. Instead of pouring on someone. I like that more in a duo, for sure. Oh, fucking hell, that sucked. Oh my god, you can't even... It, dude, those things can't even see me. What the hell? What? Okay, that was interesting. The, those things couldn't even see me. 